Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. From the Big Family Homestead, and today we're gonna do something that we have not been able to do for quite a while because we moved. <sighs> been crazy yeah and that is get back on a monthly meal budget yeah now and that the the September is almost done and October is right on our doorstep <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> get off of me October I know right <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do our October meal plan yeah and that way you can see how it is that we save so much money mm -hmm. um, with having a lot of kids. I mean, there's, there are, uh, all together, we've got nine people, our son David's in the army, uh, and Grace has a very special diet, so we're still feeding a lot of people, mm -hmm. but we do it for around 500 bucks a month. Um, but that is also keeping in mind that we do a lot of making our own foods, growing our own things, having chickens, having meat. However, you're gonna get to see something that's gonna be a little more difficult for us this month, and that's because none of our stuff for the homestead is ready to go. Nope, the only thing that we have access to is fresh milk from our cow. Which doesn't it. cost us, it costs us, right. because we have feed costs, but largely right. she grazes. Right, she is largely on grass. So you're gonna see from scratch something similar to what you would have to do. Instead of you seeing us with all the chickens and the eggs and the garden and, and all that. So what we'll do is we'll start out basically like we always do, and that is this. One of the big money-saving tips that you should do, everybody, I don't care if you got a big family, small family, uh, if you're on your own, don't go to the store hungry. Get a meal in your body mm -hmm. before you go shopping. Yep, we have already had breakfast. You had grits and toast. I did. I had Cheerios and toast and my peppermint tea. So. Water for me. Uh, but the reason why, guys, is so obvious. It's you'll minimize your uh, impulse buys. Mm -hmm. You'll minimize them because you're not going to go, oh, man, this looks this good. This looks no, good. Just, oh, looks yeah. Good. You're going to save probably 50 to $100 if you go with a full belly. Yeah, over the course of a month, it's easy to rack that stuff up. Oh, my, up. yes. Okay, so first thing we do is we'll automatically have go-to meals mm -hmm. that are cheap and everybody likes them. And everybody says, well, why can't we have this tonight? Right. Because that's one of their favorite things to have, like okay. tacos or spaghetti. spaghetti. So. so we automatically put a spaghetti type meal mm -hmm. at least at least every other week and usually once a week. Mm -hmm. Now, you go ahead and figure where you want to put that. But we already know what we're having for dinner tonight, but it doesn't really matter. But we'll put it on the menu plan here again because it's a cheap, cheap meal that goes a long oh, way. Oh yeah, it does. And that's fried rice. Yep, it's um, one of our faves. Yeah, we will save chicken from a meal that we've cooked and had leftovers, and that way it doesn't cost pretty much anything. The rice is very, very cheap. Exactly. And um, so why don't you put a fried rice on maybe in the, the 15th week there, baby. Okay. So she's got a spaghetti, a ziti, oh, another spaghetti. Summer. I'm gonna put a fried rice right here. That's great. So show them in the up close cam uh, that basically what we've got is um, well spaghetti, ziti, the fried rice, and we'll probably have fried rice again, maybe closer to the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Our son David's coming home oh, like soon. Oh, he loves it. Uh, and we make it from scratch. We just get the mm -hmm. soy out. We get the uh, sesame oil. And it's kind of fun because we do it in stages and everybody helps. Right. And we use a lot of the stuff that we use for our fried rice is left over. Um, so if we have a meat meal, if it's pork or chicken or beef. or beef, we will chop that up into small little pieces and that goes into our fried rice. <clears throat> or sometimes we'll do it vegetarian. You don't have to have meat. It's just not a to nice you. to add. Whatever yeah. floats your boat. Exactly. And so um, basically... We've got one, two, three, four, five meals on the on the on the plan right there, and right now you're talking less than ten dollars. Right. For everything. Right. Okay. So um, other stuff we like we like taco meals. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put um, Mexican mess. Now Mexican mess. What that is, just so you guys know, it's just a term that we grew up with. It. I hope it's not offensive to anybody because it's you'll you'll understand when you hear it. It's just you throw everything in the bowl. Right. It's it's a Mexican dish, taco, meat, chips, um, cheese, cheese, lettuce, lettuce tomato. tomato, sour cream, salsa, like 
olives, you know, whatever. And it just looks like a mess, but it tastes delicious. It's so good. So yeah. don't think we're busting on any not at all. That's Latino just, people because we're not. That's what mom called it. She yeah. called it Mexican mess. So, so quesadillas is another I one that's that really one on great there. because all it is is, you know, refried beans, which are cheap. Mm -hmm. Um your cheese and uh, the tortillas, okay. All right, so we gotta put pizza night back on here. Oh yeah. Pizza. And that's cheap too, believe it or not, because we make everything from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, definitely another, maybe calzones. That's what I was gonna put, calzone. Oh, but that's two Italian meals. Yeah, no, so right, put it down to I'm the next week. I'm gonna put it right week. here, calzones. There we go. Okay, and also, um, in the past, we have advocated for having a leftover night. We've changed that. Uh, we've changed that for a couple reasons because leftovers now are lunch. Right. That way, because a lot of you guys will ask, well, what are you having for lunch? Well, it's whatever's left over. Right. And then, since we live on a farm, if it makes it to the point of, e uh, yeah, nobody wants to eat it, we feed our pigs with it. Yep. So that's their slop. Mm -hmm. So nothing goes to waste at all. Not at all. Because we're eventually going to eat the pig. Don't tell them. <laughs> they just think they got it high on the hog right now. Ha, ha, ha. All right, so I'm going to put Christmas meat Let me look right at some here. of the older ones. Because uh, our, like we said, our son David is, he graduates from his art, from his uh, AIT today, actually. Yep. Um and, and he'll be coming home. He'll be coming home within the next two weeks. So. And to describe, Christmas meat is a family tradition for us. Yeah. And people have, you know, from uh, from Germany have told us that it's possibly this recipe, possibly that recipe. But what it is is you have a roast pork loin, mm -hmm. and Mama cut bakes up fresh bread. And what you do is you take the roasted pork loin, and it's got some clove on it, some salt. Well, kind. Of, hold on. You roast the pork, mm -hmm. and then you take the pork out, and you make cube a it. gravy. And then you cube that pork, and you put it in that gravy. And then in that gravy, you have a spice bag of bay leaves, peppercorns, and and cloves. And it is. It, and then you roast it for four or five hours. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Put that over that fresh baked bread, and so um, good. oh geez, I yeah. Sorry, just thinking about. Them. Anyway, other stuff what we have: biscuits and gravy. That's a cheap meal. That's a Sunday meal. We yeah. have because uh, we'll do biscuits and gravy and eggs, and so that meal right there, guys, that feeds our whole family for like four dollars. Right. Even if it's you're buying the eggs. Um, and so, yeah, biscuits and gravy, what are other good right. Sunday meals? Let's see, let's look. Oh, by the way, just to show you, um, we keep our stacks of <laughs> meal plans for at least a year. The well, reason why is- That's more like three. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> the reason why is it's sometimes kind of hard to, to, to get past drawing a blank. And if you go, oh, I remember that. That was good. Oh, like, for example. Like Chili Mac. Oh, Chili Mac's great. Oh, but hamburger gravy. Yeah, that's Hamburger really gravy good over mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Definitely please put that on. I will do that. Hamburger and that's gravy. cheap because if you're talking, you can take a pound of ground beef and you make it into this gravy that stretches it really, really far. And so you've got mashed potatoes, gravy, and then you get like a fresh veggie side and you're mm -hmm. feeding the whole family for five bucks. Yep. Yep. And if you happen to raise your own beef, then Cheap. it's even cheaper. <laughs> okay, now, we have always loved brats, but in Wisconsin, it's actually state law that you have to have brats at least once a month. So, <laughs> you're gonna wanna put brats on oh when gosh. David's here. <laughs> okay. And let's see, okay. Um, another cheap meal that the kids love, 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 baked potato bar. Because mm -hmm. the baked potatoes are cheap, and then it's just sides. They get they love to do it because it customizes their meal. They don't. Oh, I want some of this or I want some of that. And um, yeah, they that's a good one. they really like to be able to create their own dinner. So, oh yeah. Um, okay. How about um, have do we have two Latino meals like Mexican kind of stuff? One, two. We have two. Okay. I'm just gonna share with you one of the meals that I kind of came up with. We're not gonna put it on this month since we already have two Mexican meals, but this is great. It's Mexican lasagna. Oh, it's and so what good. you do is you get circular pie pans and you get 
the um, the tortillas that'll fit right in them. Yeah, the cake pans are, are mm -hmm. what you want, yeah. And you layer that up just like you would a lasagna, but you put in, instead of, you know, uh, mozzarella, you're going to put in cheddar cheese. You're going to put in meat that's flavored with taco meat. Mm -hmm. and that's, fried beans. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's great. Maybe some enchilada sauce. Yes. That is so, it's it so comes easy. right out like a big old pie and just slice it up. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Other stuff on this particular plan. Oh, what about Claire's favorite? Chicken pot pie? I think we can squeeze that in here. Can we squeeze it? I think we can. Oh, and s something else, too. As Mama's doing this, um, you try to be strategic and not putting too many like things next to each other. Right. You don't want to get. You don't want it to get old. Don't put. You know, two carb, Italian. Carb, 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 carb. Yeah, or yeah. two Italian meals together. Uh, like we were getting ready to put pizza right next to calzones. Those are the same kind of things. Or I mean, calzones next to spaghetti. Um, so don't put those together. Um, just make your spread it out. Just. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, and here's ahead. something else, too, that we need to think of, Mama, because now that we live in Wisconsin, they tell us that it gets to negative 30 degrees a couple times a year. Winter is coming. The white death is upon you. <gasps> um, but I used to grill out year round when we lived in Ohio. We had an overhang, and I would grill out. Snow's coming down, didn't bother me at all. I don't think you're going to be able to do that I don't think I'm going to do that <laughs> this year. Not until so, we can build an overhang. <laughs> so I think we need to kind of go grill heavy in October and maybe even a little bit in November. Okay. Just because we're, I don't, I'm doubting that we're going to be grilling much in December. Right, no. So no. how about, let's make sure that we get some grilled chicken on there. All right. Grilled chicken and like, um, we can still, if we do it soon, we can still get um, sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. If you guys have not had Mexi corn, street Ooh, corn, yum. it sounded gross to me for years and then we finally tried it and it's mm -hmm. delicious. You roast your corn on the grill just like you normally would, right? Then instead of butter and salt, you put mayonnaise, mm -hmm. <laughs> you put sasson, which is paprika, garlic, salt, cumin, and coriander. Equal parts. And then you put lime juice. Oh, so good. Anyway, so I, I digress. I was skeptical too, but it was... Okay. It's funny. Because we just ate, yet we're talking about all these foods, it's making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need another grilled meal, Mama. Kids always go gaga they for go, yeah, hamburgers. Yeah, they love burgers. We'll do burgers here. And, um, and now, please understand, when you see this menu... Um... We just put the main dish. No, no, I had oh, it right. It. She's it's, got it framed up. square oh, in the frame. Okay. Um, we're just putting the main dish. Now, we always buy salads if we don't yes. have lettuce. We always buy sal lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers. Um, we always we have side salads with our vegetables like three to four times a week. We have fresh veggies with our food every night. Um, yeah. Bread most sometimes, not all the time. Because well, she makes the bread, and a right. loaf of homemade bread costs about 30 cents. Yeah, so it's, you know, please understand that this is not everything. Yeah. This is just the main dish. Speaking of salads, make sure that we get at least a One salad meal every other week. Right, right, right. And that, and yes, we'll have just salad and bread. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put all kinds of stuff on it, so it's not like... Lettuce and water, children. Right. Here, eat. Right. No, we put we we get we get sunflower seeds. We get sliced almonds. We get ham. croutons. Well, not we don't do ham and we don't do meats not as all much the time. Lately, but no, we try and make at least a couple of veggie meals so that we're not eating so much meat during yeah. the week. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We don't have meat every night. Right. So, do we get two of them on there, baby? Not yet. Okay. And another thing, like she was saying, we do try to make sure that. It's balanced out with not all meat, not all this, not all that. Right. Um, so with that mm -hmm. said, yes. Sloppy Joes. Yes. Okay, Sloppy with those Joes. Homemade hamburger buns. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. So Sloppy Joes on there. I gotta find a good spot. Sooner we got than later. Burger gravy. We got burgers there. How about the twenty third? Okay. Okay. Um, and also, we love soups. And it's getting ready to be soup season full on. So we need to start thinking towards the end of the, mm -hmm. the month. How about in this week, maybe like a taco soup, tortilla soup? Okay. And that's cheap. That's so easy because we make it with our Thrive Life food. Oh, my God. 
It probably Don't cost us minutes. probably cost us five bucks maybe, but that feeds ten. Mm-hmm. And it literally takes ten minutes to make. Well, it. and it's it's cheaper now because we're using our Thrive Foods than we were than it was with canned foods. And we get free food because we sell it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, breakfast or oh, Mama, you gotta go there for me when David's here. Ugh. Can we just do like cabbage no, roll lasagna? No, I love stuffed cabbage rolls. So it's ground beef and a little bit of rice and seasoning inside a rolled up cabbage and then you serve it with tomatoes and potatoes. And they're piddly, I know. She, But this is the it's truth, piddly. this is the truth. I do 90% of the cooking, right? Yes, you do. And that's one thing that I don't cook. <laughs> no. Okay, what about, we've got salad bar on there a couple times. What about, Oh, I remember chicken alfredo, uh, or when David's here, his favorite meal is um, chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan. Okay. We gotta make sure that's on there for sure. Um, also, one of Mama's signature recipes that you gotta make when he's here is red beans and rice. Yep. That's a must, must, must. The way she makes it, I don't even know. I could sit there and eat the whole bowl. Snap. I need to make more sofrito because I gave it to, Away. I gave it to Arg. Tell them what sofrito is. Okay, sofrito is a a, a blended mixture um, of tomatoes, red peppers, green peppers, cilantro, parsley, garlic. onion, garlic. Yes. So I mean, it's super easy to it make. It makes you a just, green goop. It makes it because the the cilantro and the. Um, Parsley makes the the whole mix green, even though you've got tomatoes in there. Um, but it has such a bold flavor that adds so much. I want to use it as a marinade one of these days to marinate some chicken oh, or some pork. Rock. I bet that would be really really good. So we have to buy those veggies because we, we gave them away. Well, well, yeah, we but we don't have our garden so far this year. Right, or else it would next cost year, us next year. It would cost us nothing, but. We'll make some. And you know what I do with it? I make up a huge batch of it. And then I take the Lanaso breast milk bags. Mm -hmm. And I put in, because so, they're, they're sterile bags. And they're freezer safe. So I put the exact amount that I need in each of those bags. I lay them flat in the freezer. And off it's to the races. off to the races. I just put, put it in warm water to thaw it out for when I need it. All right. Moving on, Mama. We need to put this back on the menu. So it needs to be right there, 26th. Right here. Lemon chicken orzo soup. Uh, we have a video of this, by the way, if you're if you're interested. It was like a campfire day that we made it. Um, Excuse me. But it's so good, and the lemon is not overwhelming. It's mm -hmm. just like perky. Mm -hmm. um, so perky. Love them. The MLT sandwiches, mutton lettuce and tomato. Princess Bride. Anyway, <laughs> they're so perky. Uh, <laughs> Gosh. What else we got? How many more meals? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. seven, eight, nine. Okay. Six ish. Mainstay is um, sausage and kraut. Oh, yeah, definitely. We love just regular old Polish sausage or beef sausage with sauerkraut, and you serve it with mashed potatoes. So good. That is one of our more expensive meals, believe it or not. But even then, it's still going to cost us seven so, bucks. Yeah, yeah, because we don't buy junk. No, we don't buy junk. No. Okay, uh, barbecue stuff. You want any barbecued? Mm -hmm. No. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like pretty nice guy. You like pretty nice guy. Um, oh, one of your favorites. Creamy tomato sausage pasta. Yes. We definitely. have a video we on that. We have a video on that. I think we've actually might have two videos on that. That can work um, right That is going there. right here. Yep. That is, I actually forgot about that deal or that that, that recipe. recipe it's delicious creamy tomato. It's, it, you use pieces of sausage, sausage the bow tie pasta it's got a cream uh tomato sauce and it is silly there. yeah give them a show give them a show mama all right what about um uh, looking here what what kind of meals do we need um, There's a lot of Sundays. One, two, three Sundays. Three Sundays. So some few nicer. See, we we try to put our nicer meals on Sundays just because 
you get home from church and we basically have a late lunch, early dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, Two, three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of a regular schedule because we really take it easy. Yeah, we really do. How about, let's look. Oh, what about a roast or something like, um, hmm. I don't know. What about some roast chicken? Because we've got a couple of the chickens in the freezer. Yep. We can do we can do roast chicken. Roast chicken sounds good. Yeah. And earlier in the month, how about um, kebabs? Chicken kebabs or beef kebabs? She doesn't like doing them because they're piddly. <laughs> I hate making kebabs. <laughs> they're so good. Just just cut up all the stuff and then just. No, it doesn't work that throw way. The skillet. Ah. All right. Okay. Um, spell kebabs. It's I think it's K-E-A. K-E-B-A-B-S, I guess. I don't know. Apologize for my misspelling of kebabs. If it's I wrong. I cannot remember how to spell it, and my brain's not working yet. Okay. Um, turkey's always great, but we're coming up on Thanksgiving, so... Right, we're going to hold off on that. Hold off on turkey. Yep. What about a casserole? Any casseroles? Well, we haven't done a casserole in a while. Um, we could do Ooh, you like, like tuna. chicken noodle casserole. You like tuna too? Yeah, I like the chicken noodle one better. Okay. No, what we can do the tuna. Okay. Au gratin potatoes and ham. <laughs> okay, we can do that one. <laughs> the kids are upstairs running back. They're and playing forth. with the dog upstairs, and they're just. And, and I'm out. sure it's the dog running and not the kids. Right. Running. Right. It's. Just every some, every once in a while we hear <laughs> <laughs> Now that okay. we got the new carpet It's a little bit softer Which is really nice So ham and potatoes you think? Okay That can be a Sunday uh, even Because then we'll have a nice salad with it Well I'm just thinking Because David said he was going to be home Within the next two weeks So I'm trying to put okay. a lot of his favorites Yep that, um, that makes sense Where he's at Oh crap Okay And another cheap meal that we have Oh Lemon chicken and udon noodles. There's one that we keep missing, and it's our skyline dish. But we've got enough spaghetti. Yeah, that's true. We right. okay. We moved from Cincinnati, and they have restaurants there called Skyline, and it's they serve it. What it is is they serve it with uh, spaghetti noodles, and then they have this sauce that they call chili. That's not really chili. Mm -hmm. It's something else, but mm -hmm. they call it chili. It's got. Um, a distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not like a Texas style chili. It's not, it's, um, but we don't like, we, we, and then they put cheese and onions on the top of it. Mm -hmm. um, and we like the idea of it, but we like our chili better. Yes. So we'll use our chili over the top of spaghetti noodles and kind of simu simulate that dish. Does it look like we're done? We're done. I'm not going to fill in these because this is next month. All right. We'll show them the completed menu plan. And All right, guys. here's a scoop, guys. There it is. By the way, as we're doing this, I we do the shopping together. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of the shopping, but um, we do more of the shopping together now that we live here as opposed to in um, Ohio. But as I'm tabulating, I'm going to be easily under six hundred dollars here. More oh. like more like five. Oh no, honey, even less than that. Even less. Than I'm that. talking with all the sides and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. There it is, guys. That's how we do it, and uh, hopefully it will benefit you in your planning. Oh, one important thing that we forget to say, plan to swap meals out. Yeah, oh, exactly, yeah. Plan to, because, you know, you've got this set for the whole month. By the time you get three weeks in, you might not be in the mood for chicken pot pie, and you might need to, you might have to hurry up your dinner and switch it out for maybe a spaghetti. Or that's, something fast. Or something fast. That's really not an issue. Just or or if something comes up and you can't make that dish, yeah. and you have to go out to eat or make something completely not on the menu, just circle it and swap, and swap it. it out to another day. Um, something else that we needed to, we wanted to say is, you know, our favorite store to shop at is Aldi. Mm -hmm. it Yet saves you money. it saves you so much money. However, Aldi is an hour away for us. So we don't get the flyers, but thankfully they put those flyers online. Make sure you're checking your flyers for what's on sale so you can plan around those things that are on sale to save you even more money. Yep. Yeah. All right. There it is, guys. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. Hope this benefits you. Have a great day.